Hello and welcome aboard Highlander, this 2017 MJM50Z. I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales and I'm going to take you on a short walkthrough tour of Highlander. Highlander has been very well maintained by her knowledgeable owner with all up-to-date service records and she's always had the same service mechanic on board. She's also equipped with the triple Volvo IPS 600s which make her fast, fuel efficient and very easy to maneuver around the dock. So we'll take you on this short walkthrough tour, and if you have any questions about Highlander, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is right below the video. All right, here we are in beautiful Milford, Connecticut, on board the MJM 50Z Highlander. Highlander is hull number 11 of the 50Z series, built by Boston Boatworks. The MJM 50Z is one of my favorite boats to captain. It is super fun, fast, efficient, seaworthy, of course, with the Doug Zern hull design, as are all of his. Huge fan of this boat, and uh, not to mention, really easy to maneuver in tight marinas and mooring fields with the triple IPS. It's very simple to maneuver. So we'll go through the boat per usual and I'm going to show you around, tell you my favorite features and options that Highlander has and the 50Z has in general. Um, so starting here on the swim platform, we've got the hydraulic lowering platform with the flush mount hideaway dinghy davits or dinghy chocks. Um, so those come up and form a V on each end and can put your dinghy on there, uh, secure it. Three ways to access the cockpit here, all super simple. Uh, which is really, really important, especially for me. I had a little incident here, tore my Achilles, so I got the boot on. So having this side access boarding door, and look at how simple it is for me to get in and out of the cockpit of the boat. It just really makes things easy to not have to climb over or up over a, a gunnel. Easy for dogs and kids and all that good stuff. So huge F cockpit here on the 50Z. Love this area, especially with our sunshade up. This is just a ton of living space out here and really, really comfortable. So we've got our big aft settee and these two seats uh, move around as you'd like. So these are free moving, but uh, with a nice heavy base so they won't move around underway. Um, and normally I just stow them all the way back aft so we've got one big bench seat back here. Um, there's your transom boarding door and the starboard side one here. And looking forward, into the pilot house. Now this is really sort of an MJM staple here. So no steps from the cockpit all the way forward. We've got three steps down below. Just really a boat that is wide open and folks with uh, less than ideal mobility. It's a really nice thing as we get older to not have any steps, pretty much single level living here on the 50Z. Um, so we've got our sort of cooking and prep area here to port. I've got an electric Kenyan grill just inside of that. I've got a nice drink fridge and some storage here. Cups and glasses. Easy two steps up onto the side decks. We've got handholds everywhere here and up on top. My starboard side aft facing seat here is great for all my deck storage here. You can see lines, a couple lines and the, my throwables, a bunch of cleaning supplies. And then I've got over here, those are my rocker switches for the electric opening engine hatch, Glen Denning shore power reel, and swim platform. I'll show you the engine space back here later, but we'll move forward again. No. No steps or anything. Trip ups here into the pilot house. Got my U-shaped settee here to starboard. This table drops down with a filler piece to make a nice big double berth there. If needed, and a single berth here. Large double stood helm seat. My Raymarine touchscreen electronics. Everything really nicely laid out. I've got my Volvo throttles here, engine switches, VHF, Seakeeper control. This boat has a Seakeeper 
down below there. I'll show you that. And then my Volvo joystick here. It's really nice having the joystick a little bit more inboard. That way if I'm docking, you know, port side too, I can stand here in the middle, still see everything. And same with if I'm backing into a slip, I can just put my left hand on it here. I've got really nice visibility throughout the boat. As I mentioned, super easy boat to handle around the dock. I've got my overhead opening hatches over both for ventilation, but as you've seen on the MJMs, we also have the three electric opening windows here. So these all open up. Ben and I talk about these. This is a huge feature on the boat. Uh, if you're leaving your mooring field or your dock earlier in the morning, it's foggy out, uh, condensation on the windows. You can just open these up and you've got perfect visibility out without worrying about windshield wipers or you know, dehumidifiers or anything like that. Really nice to have for that. Um, and then of course, uh, as you're cruising up and down these uh, rivers here, we can just pop the window open a couple of inches too um, and run with them open. You can see out there we've got a step up to the top which I'll show you um, a little bit later. Now both sides here in the pilot house these days everybody wants to bring bikes, folding bikes, blow up paddle boards, all types of toys with them. That's the whole point of getting out on the water and I'm going to take a look and show you inside these outboard storage lockers. It is insane how much space you get here. We've got some systems of course but, I mean, you can fit full-size bikes in here. You know, probably a small, solid paddleboard. Um, the owner of this boat does a lot of the e-foiling, and so he carries around an e-foil. And then up on the hard top too, which I'll go forward now, is some custom mounts for kayaks and paddle boards, whatever you want. We've got these D-rings here on the roof that he added, Boston Boatworks added, to allow for really any size uh, toy up here with the kayaks, paddle boards, etc. You just, just the basic foam base on them to keep them from marring the hard top here. And what goes along with that is uh, this custom little step that done so get up nice and close here and see it is removable with that little latch there and you know easy to step up here onto the hard top and get access to all of your kayaks and other toys so enclosed array radar we've got the dual trumpet Kallenberg air horn back aft has some connectivity Wi-Fi whatnot Non-skid's in excellent condition. This is the buff tan. Really easy to get around this boat, even with my boot on. So we've got the wash down here for the anchor. Stainless steel Muir windlass with the foot pedals. You also have a remote at the helm and the stainless steel ultra anchor. And love that they mount the searchlight here all the way on the bow to eliminate any glare from all this stainless here. A lot of people ask that little football shaped piece of equipment over there is our GPS beacon uh, for the IPS uh, DPS, the positioning system that holds us in place. Mercury calls it the sky hook, which is a great name for it. Hold us in place while we're out on the water. We'll be using that function for some of our drone footage later. One of my favorite features on Highlander is the ability to completely open this pilot house salon up to the open air. So I've already got these three aft curtains rolled up and rolling up these two side Isenglass uh, panels and opening our windshield windows with the electric opening windows. And we basically have, Bob Johnstone used to say, this is essentially the sun deck of a 90 or 100 foot mega yacht and you know there really is something to that i mean you've got 
tons of seating area and just wide open breeze in your hair but it's a heck of a lot cooler to be at water level too. I mean, it's it's really awesome feeling being on the 50Z with this completely opened up. So that is definitely a huge plus. And taking these two steps down below to our lower salon on the 50Z. This space that's normally taken up with a bunch of staterooms on boats of this size is set up as a lower salon with this big L settee, the table drops to convert this to a berth if you do want a second stateroom. We've got these stainless steel fittings in the overheads here to put a curtain up if you do have some guests staying that want a little bit of privacy. Uh, Bob Johnstone always said that uh, we want a boat that is designed perfectly for 80, 85% of your usage and is convertible for the other 20%. So there's no such thing as a perfect boat that's perfect for your needs. And so this is the ultimate 50 foot couples cruiser. And when you've got your occasional guests on board that need to stay on board, they can stay right here in this little area, which is great. There's tons of storage here. We've got the drawer storage below, another one here behind the poof. This poof, really cool little feature, super lightweight made by s and Canvas Products in Portsmouth, Rhode Island, who does did all of the uh, canvas for the MJMs uh, at Boston Boatworks. Love this little thing. It's a little ottoman. Also is a great seat for sitting up that's you know, rigid, and so you can sit on it, put your feet up on it, and throw it around. Don't have to worry about it marring the floors down here underway. This little feature is awesome. So we've got a 110 volt plug in here. Uh, we've got some books and uh, games and whatnot in here, but this is great deep storage for laptops. So it's away from the electronics, so they won't mess that up and really nice storage for that underway. One of my favorite well thought out features of the 50. Big Samsung flat screen TV. We've got Bose surround sound down here. And then on our aft bulkhead, we have our DC and AC electrical panels, all the systems really well laid out easy to see. Uh, Highlander has an S-Bar diesel heater, which is a really cool addition there for cruising the northern climates. Uh, this owner does go up to Maine and you know, basically cruises north from uh, Milford, Connecticut, uh, mostly. And so uh, into the shoulder seasons, early spring, late fall, early winter, he likes to be one of the first boats in the water and the last one out. Um, when the water's, water temp is in the 40s, that diesel heater is really, really helpful for keeping it warm on board. So over here, we've got our galley, galley to port, big stainless steel Vitrofrigo fridges. Love these drawer fridges, really easy to access everything. Plenty of storage here, silverware. This is our waste basket up on the countertop. Kenyan dual burner, electric stove, freezer, Nice deep freezer. We've got storage all over the place, really. Up here. Spices. Convection microwave oven. Some storage. This is sort of a drying area in here for dishes. Stainless steel basin sink, hot and cold pressure water with our Seagull drinking water filter there. Um, we do have overhead hatches here with a uh, bug screen. So um, I've got those shut because it's nice and bright out here today, finally. Um, been having some crappy weather this season. And storage in the, in the um, steps here. So um, right there you see the hose for our central vac, which is right here. Plug it in right here. And that extending hose will go all the way forward into the primary stateroom and all the way aft uh, back there so you can clean up you know, any debris and dust and all this stuff that gets in the corners here. Always happens and it's really nice to just have that really easily accessed. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I didn't mention this earlier, we've got the nice uh, varnished storage up here. I'll show you that when we get back into the pilot house. Build storage down here, really easy to get at. We've got some boxes for Equipment, privacy shade, it's a pretty deep storage there. So right here, this is the privacy door to the primary stateroom. 
So this is your day head and your guest head, which has a full shower stall. Nice feature there. We've got our electric domestic toilet here. Plenty of storage. Just awesome hanging locker. As I go around, everything's in excellent condition on board the boat. Um, it's done a nice job of keeping it up. One of the features that I like that <laughs> was well thought of is we do have a air conditioning heat vent right here, right at the toilet. So keep you uh, comfortable even when you're uh, doing your business. And forward into the primary stateroom. Big, huge berth here. And the wings allow for a little extra space. When you're sleeping with two people in the bed, you can, you know, kind of move to one side. Um, you know, a, a problem on a lot of boats is, we call it a, a boat queen, where you know, you've got it a lot tighter up at the head of the berth and gets wider aft. And this is a nice solution here. We've got the hull sides here to deal with. We don't want to compromise the hull shape that Doug Zern has drawn just for a bigger berth. So we get a little creative here with the wings. Very nice feature, 110 volt outlets up there for plugging in your phone. Got the 12 volt fan, so those will run off of battery power. And then bookcases, and then access to your anchor locker. Um, and you do have a hatch right overhead here, so if you want to anchor without um, air conditioning and the generator running, you can open that hatch and get some nice fresh air blowing right on you. Got a uh, nice hanging locker. Another hanging locker here. This goes deep, but even though the uh, desk is right here. The Bob Johnstone special chair right here. Love that feature. Super comfortable custom armchair. And um, we've got our desk charging cable and sort of a vanity there as well. And another poof under there. Storage everywhere. You hear me talk about storage a lot on these boats really well thought out really well designed we've got some bedding here all that storage is so you can just hop on the boat and cruise you don't have to convert it from day boating mode to uh, cruising mode and the primary head about the same size as the guest it just doesn't have the hanging locker so. And coming back up here onto the pilot house, show you some of this storage that I missed first time around. And we'll head down below, showed you the outboard locker. This is where we house the Sea Keeper. So you see the Sea Keeper 9 there and some storage. Really versatile space down here. We've got some shelves. You can see they go pretty deep back there. This owner's got spares and oil and different pumps and whatnot. And then we've got our air conditioning compressors just forward. And there's our stabilizer. See, just serviced recently here this summer. Little small features that just make this handrail here, make the 50Z and the MJM one of the premier boats in the Down East Express powerboat world. So now we'll head into the mechanical space, show you the beautiful triple IPS down there. Go into this locker I showed you earlier and open this up. So with these three hatches open, we have amazing access to all three engines, all three pods got a fourth hatch just forward of this to access. Hop in and see the Northern Lights generator there. Everything really well laid out here. Thank you for watching this walkthrough tour of Highlander. If you have any questions about this boat, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is right below the video. Thanks for watching.